Now, the spacecraft is completely on its own. It has to travel an average distance of 384,000 kilometers. The spacecraft will be controlled from the control room in Israel, while a substantial part of its activities will be performed automatically. Inside the spacecraft, there's a computer the size of a smartphone, much like the one you have. It transmits orders to various units on board of the spacecraft and receives updates from these units about their status. The spacecraft is equipped with navigation sensors that will use the sun and stars as the spacecraft's eyes to assist with its navigation. The spacecraft stabilizers and the rocket engine will also help guide the spacecraft in the desired direction. Conditions in space are very different than what we're used to on Earth, so our spacecraft will have many challenges to cope with. Solar radiation travels unhindered in space, so it can be utilized to generate electricity using solar panels. This is why one of our spacecraft's sides is always tilted towards the sun. On the other hand, the strong radiation may disrupt the operation of some of the spacecraft's units, so one has to ensure that these units are resistant to such influence. In the absence of air, temperature in space varies greatly. The side of the spacecraft facing the moon will become very hot, while the opposite side will be very cold. This causes large temperature differences on the spacecraft, which might interfere with its systems. In order to cope with such temperature differences, the spacecraft is made of heat-insulating materials, which will prevent the spacecraft interior from heating up while warming its cold areas. Movement in space is different than on Earth due to the existence of microgravity conditions, very weak gravitational forces. In order to be established on its track, the spacecraft will spin somewhat like a chicken in the grill while moving towards the moon. The spacecraft is expected to orbit the moon for a period of between two days and one month until the right moment for landing comes. We are very close to the moon by now.